On our first painting that we're going to do, we're going to use a method called dry brush. You'll need your watercolors, you'll need a brush, and your painting, or your, your piece of paper, and then some water. When we are doing this, I want you to think about creating emphasis. So in order to do that, we're going to use our colors to help us out. I'm going to put all of my cool colors in the background and all of my warm colors within the shape. So I dip my brush into the water. I'm uh, loading my brush, this is called, getting the paint on my brush. And I'm bringing that directly to my piece of paper. And what I'm trying to do is fill in all of my little triangles or squares or rectangles or whatever shape you created when you were drawing your lines. I have no water on my piece of paper and you can see that I'm using, using a method where I'm going kind of sporadically throughout my whole piece. Uh, let's say that I have co completed all of that, all of my blue throughout the whole piece. Then I'm going to move to another cool color. So now I'm using purple and I'll fill in a couple of spaces with purple. Once you move to a new color, you're probably going to find that the colors that you've already placed down are pretty much dry. So if you're adding your color right next to another color, it should turn out okay. Now I just added my purple next to my purple. That wasn't a very smart idea. You're going to want to separate your colors out. Another color that I could use straight out of the um, paint container is green. And then I'm going to increase my palette here with my cool colors by taking a couple of cool colors and mixing them over on the lid. So now I'm taking my purple and my blue and I'm making a purple blue or a violet blue. That gives me more colors to work with when I'm adding them down and filling up my whole entire space. When you're done with the whole outside of your painting, so outside of the shape, then you're going to move to the inside of your shape using the opposite colors. So here I'm using cool colors on the outside. I'll be using warm colors on the inside. You can switch those up. You can use warm colors on the outside and cool colors on the inside. It's really up to you and what you have um, going on.